Hey guys, it's James from Badger and Blade, and today we're going to talk a little bit about dip pens. Initial setup for this is extremely cheap and easy to get going. All you're going to need is a nib holder, a nib, and a bottle of ink. One thing to note about ink is it's not something you'll want to put in your fountain pens as, it, as it's a lot thicker. As well as fountain pen ink, although it will work with your nibs, tends not to work very well. It's too thin and runs off the nib nib too quickly to fully utilize what these guys can do. First thing you'll need to do though is check your nibs. If you look at these two, you notice the tip on the larger nib, there we go, the tip on the larger nib is down to the bare metal while the one to the left is coated. That coating will interfere with the flow of the ink and you will need to burn it off. How you do this is quite simple. A soft flame does the ticket for you. And all you'll need to do is hold your nib under that flame. Sorry, while well, I just use my pliers here. For about 10 to 15 seconds to burn it off. Don't hold your nib in one spot as you'll notice it'll get red hot. And it's possible that due to the thin metal you will damage the nib. You can start to see, I get out of the light there, the blue coating's been removed from most of the nib. Place it in some cool water. And then all you'll need to do now is use some paper towel to clean the soot that's present on it and your nib should be good to go. All right, all I did was wiped down the nib with some paper towel and cleared up the soot and debris left behind by the burning. You notice the nib is now down to metal compared to the one on the right which still has its coating on the base part at the top. Coating left behind up at the top of the nib is fine as long as it's not in an area where it contacts ink as ink does not adhere to it properly to allow for proper flow. Both these nibs are good to go and in the second part of this video I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your nibs and teach you a little bit on how to use them so that you can get started. Thanks for watching guys.